Hey everyone, Val here with Steve. And we have a no tag Tuesday. So everybody who's participating in the tag will be in the description box below. So go and check them out and see how they answer the tag questions. Um, the normal people that I would tag, you guys are tagged, Bussaw and everybody else, you're tagged. If you want to do the tags, please do them. I, I like seeing Buzz and uh, Dar do the tags. So you guys do the tags so that I can see your answers. So this is, I didn't read the questions. I didn't even read the email. I just printed it out. Thank you, Sandy, over at uh, Let's Get Fit with Sandy. And she's changing her channel name to, I forgot. But I'll go back and uh, and check that out because I don't remember what her channel <laughs> name is. It's something about just Sandy and Jimmy or something. I don't know. I forgot, Sandy. But uh, I'll, I'll uh, figure it out. <laughs> too much on the brain all right so these questions are from eddie um from jo jones pointed plate jones pointed plate so please check out jones channel in the description box below along with everybody else so okay enough rambling all right so <laughs> you ready I didn't read the question, so I don't know what we're doing here. All right, question number one. What is something you spend hours doing? Nothing. <laughs> right now? Yeah. I spend hours working <laughs> and working and then working some more. <laughs> and I spend a lot of hours at work. But if I'm not at work, I like to spend a lot of hours uh, doing crafts. Like when I get home at night, after dinner and everything else is done I can sit down in a chair and do some knitting and watch some YouTube videos and edit some YouTube videos and <clears throat> that's what I spend my nights doing so I can spend hours doing work outside or working on equipment in the garage yeah. it just depends on, depends on where I'm at and what my priorities are Right now, my priorities are getting better. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I could spend hours doing crafts. So I do hours of doing nothing right now. Yeah. He's good at it. It sucks. He likes it. No, <laughs> not really. All right. So, uh, number two. What is something you wish you could do more often? Um... You don't even want to know. I, I wish we could travel more and explore more and uh, just spend some more time, just downtime, not having to work so much. Just spend more time uh, seeing things, seeing the world. Yeah. I had that thought before I whispered my other thought. Let's, let me go get that. Okay. Hold on. Phone. All right. So here we go. Sorry about that. We had a phone call. All right. So question number three. What room in your house most represents who you are as a person? The garage. Mine is this room. The Florida room. This is where all my crafts and my knitting and my mission stuff is. So, and I'm getting ready to do some gardening stuff too. But there will be videos of that coming up. Um, but this is my room. And the office is her room. That's not representing who I am. That's representing what I do. <laughs> it's definitely not who I am. Uh huh. All right. So yours is a garage. Clutter and mayhem. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, question number four: What phrase or word do you overuse when you talk? Um. Um. I don't know. I know when I write sometimes, like if I do comments and stuff, I use awesome a lot. I don't know that I use it in speech, though. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that I overuse words, do I? I don't know. I don't, that, you stumped us. All right. Uh, number five. Uh, what was your worst haircut? And put a picture in if you have one. I have to go back into my younger days. I'm sure I have some really crazy hair in my younger days. I'll go, I'll find a picture. That, he, his worst haircut, that's like today, right? <laughs> yeah. It's time for a cut again. Is it? Um, I don't know if I can do it though. Yeah, that probably doesn't matter. Um, so I don't know about him, but mine is, I can find a picture. So what's the most ridiculous thing you've ever purchased? Most ridiculous thing you've ever purchased. I can go get it and show you. Alright. While he's doing that, I'm trying to think. Uh, because I don't... I'm sure it's something that I would buy thinking that I really would want it and then didn't use it or something. Um, trying to think if there's anything totally ridiculous that we've purchased or that I've purchased. Um, trying to think. Oh, that you call ridiculous? Oh, that laughing monkey thing. You didn't I didn't purchase, purchase that, that though. That was a gift. Yeah. From my dad. Oh, probably maybe have something to do with... Hi, I'm the Story Elf. I have a very important job at the North Pole. I'm in charge of all the holiday stories, and I need your help to tell them. I'll tell you what kind of words I need. You say them for me. I'll record them, and then I'll tell you a story with those words in it. Press the questions button to start playing now, or keep on listening to learn how. Here's how it works. All right, I'll ask good. you a question like, <laughs> All right, that is your favorite thing to eat? Cut it off. All right. That is pretty ridiculous, but it's fun with the kids. Um, because we can make up some really crazy stories with it. So that, that was a, a pretty ridiculous thing. But sometimes we find like weird quirky things and, and just get them just for the fun of getting them, I guess. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Yeah, just crazy little things. All right, so anyway, number seven. What is something you paid too much money for, but don't regret it? Some vacations. <laughs> Some vacations were pretty pricey. That's things that I've spent a lot of money for, but I don't regret it. We had a good time. This house. This house wasn't a lot of money. I don't think this house was, compared to other houses, this house was not a lot of money. Big purchases like um, houses and cars, I think that's, everybody purchases those. Those are things you kind of need to do what you need to do every day. I think mine's vacations, the vacations that I've gotten for us. Yeah, but they've all been good. I don't think we've had a bad one yet, have we? No, probably Except not. The Bermuda wasn't that great, but still was... It was a, a it was, chance to get away. Yeah. So. No other answers? No? All right, so number eight. I don't think. What have I purchased that you think I shouldn't have? No, I mean, it's saying what have you purchased that was a lot of money, but you don't regret it. I don't know. All right, so number eight. Who in your life knows the most 
secrets about you. I do? Secrets? Mm -hmm. I don't think you have secrets, do you? Oh, well, if I do, you know them. Well, I guess he would be the one for me, too. Used to be my sister, Patty. Her and I would talk about everything. But, um, I think it's probably you now. In my younger days, it was my sister, Patty. I don't know that I have a lot of secrets, so I don't keep things really a secret. So... All right, so when does your family cause you stress? <laughs> when they're my, ch my ch well, I was going to say when they're my children, but. <laughs> um, yeah, well, you need to be more specific. No, not my son. Um, no, Bobby doesn't cause stress. No, he doesn't. My kids don't cause me stress. I worry about my kids, but that's what parents do. Yeah. I try to avoid talking politics with my family because that can be stressful. Um, I tell you, when we have family get-togethers and everybody's here, it's stressful for me. When everybody's here? Yeah. When just because of the drama that goes on sometimes. Yeah, could be. I'm not really stressed when the whole family's here. I I like having them around. It's. And normally when they come for like holidays and stuff, they're in a good mood anyway because it's a holiday. And so that doesn't cause me stress. It's other times throughout the year that's more stressful with the kids. But, um, my family doesn't cause me a whole lot of stress. All right, so in the last question, what is the one thing you have in your house that not many people have? Like a hidden closet or something. I couldn't tell you that. Something we have in our house that most people don't have. We have a men's and a ladies' restroom. We have two restrooms that sit side by side because of the way our house was built in sections. It just kind of, I think, happened that way. So one of them is the ladies' room and one of them is the men's room. And most people don't have two bathrooms side by side that are gender specific. Because she has made them gender specific. Because I don't want the guys in my bathroom peeing on my seat <laughs> and leaving the toilet seat up. So uh, it works for me. And uh, picking up towels and clothes off the floor. So he can do whatever he wants in his restroom. I do whatever I want in my restroom. It works. So, um, that's, I think, what we have that's different in our house. I don't think there's, I mean, the whole house is different, but um, that's what uh, I think is our biggest thing that's different. Thank you, Eddie, from Join Jones Pointed <sighs> Plate for these questions. They were fun. If anybody wants to do the tag, please do it. Check out all the channels in the description box below of the people who are in this collab. So, thank you all for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and don't forget to leave us a comment. There you go. Thank you all. We'll catch you on the next tag. Bye. Mm -hmm.